Ladies and gentlemen, season 3 is here and with that comes a new meta. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can qualify for the Squad Victory Cash Cup Finals. I'll split the video into chapters so feel free to skip whatever part helps you the most. For those who are new to Fortnite Competitive, the Squad Victory Cup occurs across two rounds. Round 1 you have 2 hours to play 7 games to get as many points as you can. After you qualify you have 1 hour to play 3 games in which every game you guys win is an individual prize of $100 to each player. The first Squad Victory Cup will be on June 2nd on EU. It will be taking place from 6pm to 8pm BST and finals will be from 9pm to 10pm. For NA, Opens will be on the 3rd of June from 8pm to 10pm EST and finals will be on 11pm to 12am EST. To qualify for round 2 on EU is top 150 and in NA, Brazil, Asia, Oceania and Middle East is also top 150. To qualify for finals, the format for the Squad Victory Cup is 65 points per win and 1 point per kill. Now that I'm finished talking about the format guys, something I get asked a lot is what loadout should my team be carrying. I highly recommend for squads, two of you should carry a hammer pump shotgun and the burst SMG and the other two should carry a gatekeeper shotgun and the warforged assault rifle as it's extremely accurate and needy for the storm surge tags. But then of course for mobility, carry the fists and for heals I recommend medkits and big pots or medkits and nuka cola. If you can't find four fists then I recommend nitro splashes as you can splash all your teammates and want to jump in a box for that refresh. Make sure you guys have enough time to loot up and get these fists which leads me to my next section is drop spots. Drop spots are crucial for being able to play out good games. Once you find a good drop spot, I recommend getting a drop map either making on your own or find one online, you know? How should you guys play the squad victory cup? Question mark. Well, I recommend you guys key your first game as you guys should have the mentality and you guys are excited to play with each other. You, get, you guys might be very confident in fighting, meaning communication is very crucial. If you guys mess up on your first key game, just jump back in, bring the vice back and you guys will be dropping a high kill game, trust me. If you guys aren't confident in these tournaments, I don't recommend double keying as you don't need a double key game to qualify for finals as like for placement to kill ratios is 65 to 1. After your double key game guys, play for end game every single game and the way to do that is to make a loot route and repeat the same process every game. Switching up, you guys could mess up on how time you're efficient you are and you could lose to a disadvantage if you get doubly keyed by another team. Once you're in mid game I recommend hiding in a bush or a house just conserve as many mats as you guys can for the end game and make sure you're rotating on the dead side of zone and you will make every end game. I won't go too much in depth on how to play end games in this video just make sure you rotate with the wooden box up in hard mats and make sure you stay front side on good layers as you guys can get jumped on by fists and look back for kills if you have decent mats. Look for opportunities and plays if you're scuffed on mats. If you do this guys you'll be able to qualify for every squad cup finals of the season every week. And the last thing guys is to just have fun. Make some memories together as this is a squad victory cup. Imagine winning a game together guys and you guys just bringing the hype together. If you'd like to see more content like this guys, please consider subscribing. I'd also like to say thank you to you guys for helping me lately. We are on the way to 2000 subscribers and all that can only be done with you guys' help. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.